Good morning, good morning. So we have just done something pretty exciting. We've just done our written driving test and we both passed. Mm -hmm. And then Dave has done his road test and passed. And passed. And so passed. now he's waiting for his American license to come. I've just got to book my test and do my driving road test. But how exciting! Yeah, I'm licensed to drive on the wrong side of the road. I know, but you did really, really well, didn't you? 100 out of 100 percent. Yeah, I mean, the <laughs> it's not hard to get 100 percent here because the test is um, stupid, stupidly easy. Um, well, it's really, it's really straightforward, and it, but it was, yeah, it was easy. Well, the, the other thing is as well, they do the test to where they don't, you don't sit with an examiner. They put a camera system in the car. So you have a camera facing you, a camera facing the road, and then you connect your phone to Bluetooth, and then they instruct you while watching the cameras from the office. Um, but I was like the second appointment of the day, and they were running behind already. So they sent an examiner out to sit in the car with me, which I actually preferred. Yeah, that, so, that's more like what we used to, though, isn't it? Yeah, like, he was a really sweet guy. He was from Poland, actually. Was it? A guy called Nicholas, and he was just like really, um, really made me feel relaxed. And then, yeah, it was, oh, he basically just did a few manoeuvres and drove around the block, and he went, congrats, you've passed. I was like, thanks. Easy. Was it easy, the road bit? Yeah, it was like turn left, turn left, did a few rights and come back. It was, we just literally went around this block. Well, I, I, because I'm going to do a different test centre. So this is what Dave's done it at, the DDS in, are we in Alpharetta? In Alpharetta, yeah. The, yeah, where's the flag? Big flag there. Lovely sunny day. Yeah, and no, we'll show the test there, you know, where you do the, uh, oh yeah, let's show the, the noddy manoeuvres. The noddy manoeuvres. I, I honestly can't believe that. It's done. You've literally, I can't do it. You're gonna have to grab that. I can't put my belt on whilst holding this for me. I can't believe you passed your test. I know, it's good, isn't it's it? It's done. And now we can, so the reason why we had to, we had to redo our tests is because you can't buy a car without a driving license in this state. So we had to get US driving licenses. Now let's show you the, so you have to park over there. God, the sun is coming out. Yes, yeah, so you park there and then you basically go to the right here. And this is where you do the body test. Right here, so you've got the parallel park bit and then the reverse park. Oh, they're close to the cone. They're a little bit, I don't know how they're <laughs> gonna do that, but. Right, stop at the stop, stop sign. Stop at the stop sign, right, anyway. Here we go. Well done, Dave. License to drive. <laughs> So our shipment has just come from the UK. I can't believe we've had them this early in the morning, Dave. We've not even brushed my teeth yet. But the shipment, this is the air shipment that's come. So it's not the big shipment of the um, shipping container. So this is just the air stuff. But it looks different from what I've um, packed, you know? Yeah, no, what? The boxes are like smaller boxes that I've packed. Surely the boxes that we had at home were just inside these. That's what I'm hoping, because they're the ones like otherwise. Oh, yeah, it yeah. looks like it. What does it say on the paper? Don't really say much to be honest. I'm hoping. Seven. Oh, God, these are an absolute nightmare to open. They really take them up well. The packers in the UK were fan absolutely fantastic. So I don't even know where to start. What is it, Tack? What is it? What can you see? Let's have a look at what can you see. What are you barking at? Oh my gosh, Dave, I can't get the person. Nothing. Oh, there is somebody. So I've been waiting. For this, for these, PlayStation 5, but this one is my monitor for work. I'm constant, I've been working like this, which is really uncomfortable. Check out these chairs, look how comfortable they look. The and that is a horrible place to work for 10, 12 hours a day. So now with this, I've got my monitor, and in here somewhere, my keyboard and mouse. <laughs> oh my god, Dave. 
Oh, my God. What's that, Jen? Lemon cake. Oh, my God. How much was that piece of cake? $6.99. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. But look at that now. <laughs> look at that though. Look at it. Oh my. That is a big piece of Le cake to be fair. With the lemon. Oh, oh my gosh. Do you some? No thank you. Mmm. <laughs> oh my. Alright. I don't eat too much of it. Mmm. Don't know what to do myself. <laughs> I ain't got the cake, mate. What are you on me for? I Who's got the cake? I don't want to eat too much. We can take it over there. Good morning, good morning. Uh, we are heading to reception right now to go and talk about the most randomest thing keeps happening outside the apartment. So every time we leave the apartment, this chicken like chicken wings or chicken on the pavement and on the grass around the apartment and loads of dog poo and Taco stupidly managed to get hold of a chicken wing the other day on Monday night and ate it, couldn't get it off him and then it's been consistent since Monday night, there's been like chicken outside of the, outside of the apartment, it's in the bed. So. It's the weirdest thing, so we're going to have to go and talk to reception about it. And I know it sounds stupid, but it's a really big inconvenience having chicken just sprawled around outside the apartment when you've got a dog, because they just want to eat it. And any time he gets hold of anything like that, we can't get it off him. So, uh, yeah, we don't know where it's coming from. So it's either being thrown from the balcony upstairs, or there's animals getting it from somewhere and bringing it here to like eat it, but it's the most randomest thing because there was like, there's still meat on it. That's what's weird. If it was an animal, I doubt that they would leave meat on it. So we need to talk to reception about it. So we're gonna go do that, but we might have mail there as well. So it's kind of a two birds with one stone thing, but Taco, you went the other day, didn't you? Monday night and it's now Thursday morning. So we've still been monitoring his poo. Lovely. Because it's bad for dogs to eat cooked um, bones, isn't it? So, yeah, let's go and see what reception has to say. We're going to sound like a pair of bloody idiots, but it's got to be done. So this is uh, outside our apartment. There's our apartment. And this is where we bring Taco every night for a, a wee. Yeah, down the path. Down this path out here and we keep finding chicken like this. Chicken, chicken, that thing now, chicken. And Taco, a couple of nights ago, ate a chicken wing, a cooked chicken wing. It was out on the floor and he just ate it, which is really dangerous. So we were on chicken patrol now. And we're also gonna go and work out what animals are on this, wild animals are on this complex that are leaving chicken outside our house, weird. Is it your dinner time? Is it? Taco's dinner time. So Taco has Royal Canine, Dash Hound, Nuggets or Kibble. And then I put boiling water on it and then just leave it to sit for five minutes. So it's nice and soft for him because he doesn't drink a lot of water and this is just a great way to get water in him. What in him? Uh, wow, what a morning. What a morning. It's Wednesday the 18th of October and this morning I passed my road test. So I'm legal to drive on the roads of the USA. Um, you know what? I was getting myself psyched out because people are like the USA uh, road test is just dead simple, it's dead easy and the more people tell you that the more it psychs you out because you're thinking well if I fail this I'm going to look like a right idiot. So anyway I went with a driving instructor, I've had a two hour lesson a couple of weeks ago and then I had an hour lesson before my test and then I did my test and I passed. The reason I went for the lessons it's because I'd never drove on the other side of the road before. And it was just 
safe for me to just go with a professional and ask all the questions, learn what all the road signs mean, learn what, it was just safer for me. Whereas Dave, he's been driving for like 20, 20 odd years. He's very confident. He also drove in Germany when we lived there, which is on the other side of the road. So he was just very confident to just go straight in, do his road, his, his written test and his road test was dead quick. Whereas to me, I was like, that's a little bit more nervous, wow. You went that so quick. Um, I was just a little bit more nervous about doing it. So that's why I went with an instructor and Dave didn't. But anyway, half past. <sighs> it was fine. It was absolutely fine. The nervy bit for me was just going into the DDS. So it's not the DMV here in Georgia. It's the DDS. So just going into the DDS was like the nervy bit for me. But I went with an amazing driving instructor who's there all day every day so he's just like everybody knew him it was just an easy experience so but it is very weird that obviously you don't have a you don't have the examiner in the car with you you just have your driving instructor or in most cases here it's like the parents of the kid and i've got to say it's weird seeing how young the kids are here doing driving tests they're so young because obviously they can do it at 16 um so i'm relatively old <laughs> to be doing the driving test um but yeah it's done and i'm just glad it's just another tick in the box and another thing done i can't believe today is officially three weeks living in the us and we've pretty much done everything apart from buy a house but we're trying we're trying i know buying a house is like the next big thing um so this weekend we are <laughs> maybe gonna look at some more houses maybe not maybe just have a weekend off because we've spent every weekend since we've got here three weekends now three saturdays are looking at houses we're on to we are losing count of how many we've seen i think we've seen about 28 29 at this point so yeah um anyway the good news today is that i've passed my road test i need to get on the internet now and try and find a car because i need to buy a car because you can now because we've got Georgia licenses, so we can buy cars. Very, very exciting. Buy cars, buy a house. Once we've got the cars in the house, we're just, yeah, that's it. We're here. We're, we're, we're here. We live here. It's still mad to think that I live in America. Still so mad. Um, look at Taco. Tack, are you just so cute? So he doesn't need the toilet. Look what he's doing. Look where he's sat. He wants to be in the sun. It's really sunny outside today. He wants to be in the sun, so he's sat in that little sun patch there. And I know if I take him out, he's just gonna wanna sit on the grass outside, but we haven't got a garden and it's not secure for me to have the door open. So, sorry, chicken nugget. Anyway, I'm gonna go. But I just, I'm just happy. I'm happy I've passed my road test and I don't have to do it again. Cause I thought, this was the thing I thought, when I passed my UK driving license, when I, when I passed my test there, I thought, oh, oh, it's done, it's done. I'll never have to do another test in my life. And now I've had to do this one, but whatever. Oh, and the picture's not very good either. Oh, you couldn't see yourself taking the picture. They take the picture for you. So God, oh, God knows what it's gonna look like when it comes, but it is what it is. I've passed my test, I've got my license, yeah, yeah. There was something that I forgot to update you on, the chicken saga, the chicken saga. So we went to reception and we told um, the woman at reception and she was really, really nice. She didn't make us feel crazy or anything, but we basically said to her, listen, every day we come out of the apartment and there's food on the floor, chicken bones, chicken carcass on the floor. And we told her that obviously taco managed to eat a chicken bone and it was like really dangerous. By the way, he's absolutely fine. Look at him, absolutely fine. Uh, bearing in mind it's hot today. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt and he's wrapped up in a blanket. He's amazing. Um, so anyway, we told her and she was just like, okay, I'll send maintenance to like clean anything up that's there. So I was like, right, I'll, I'll leave the, the chicken that was there out there. Anyway, that stayed there for a couple of days and I thought, right, I need to pick it up now because there's other dogs on this um, like complex so far. I need to move it. So I'm like, go out to move it. And I look down and I think, what's that? What is that on the floor? 
Oh, that, that's fish. There's fish on the floor now. So now it's not just the chicken saga. It's like the food saga. So I was like, what the fuck is that? So I'm, I'm looking and then there's a fish fillet, a fish fillet, a fish fillet. It's like battered fish. Small, the pro well, it's probably about that big. And there's like six of them just scattered around. I'm like, what? Honestly, I don't know where they're coming from. Upstairs is an Airbnb. So maybe, maybe it's them up there that are just throwing them off the balcony. Like that's what I was thinking, you know, is this, are they really throwing food off the balcony? I, I don't know. Is it an animal? If it was an animal, why would there be full fish fillets, like battered fish out there? The animal would eat that. They wouldn't just leave them. So anyway, I ended up picking up a chicken carcass, a chicken bone, six fish fillets. And it's every day now. It's like every day I go out there, I'm like scanning now for new, new bits of food. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. It's just, it is what it is at this point. But that's the update. Now, now it's fish. So it's not a chicken saga anymore. It's like the food saga. Are you okay? Okay, okay. What are you doing? Have you been barking a lot this morning? He's been barking loads today. He's, he really misses. You really miss a garden, don't you, baby? Not long now. I'm trying. I'm working on it. I'll get out of the house soon. I promise. I promise. You're so cute. <laughs> you look tired. How are you tired? All you've done all day is sleep. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. It's Saturday morning and we are off to Blue Ridge, which is a town in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I didn't even see that person in the car. That's why I'm not that excited because I thought I'm not going to go here because I'll bang into her. Oh, right. Okay, let's go. We've got baby yeah. tea down there. It's going to be 23 degrees. Yeah, today. the it's weather like is looking lovely. Look at the sky, I've not seen a single cloud today, it's lovely. <laughs> 